Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is build 22616 Windows Insiders on the Dev and Beta channel In this video I'm going to look at what's changed, what's new in this build uh, First I want to mention that um, Microsoft call out particularly to say that the window for switching between the Dev channel and the Beta channel is closing soon So at the moment the Dev and Beta are getting the same builds But pretty soon the dev channel will go off on a higher build number and um, that will get more experimental builds and this beta channel will be refined down to what will be the 22H2 update which I think is probably pretty much done now they're just finishing that off so if you've got a device currently on dev you can actually switch to beta and uh, you've got the choice now you can't go from dev to beta once the build gets higher up again so you've got this window of opportunity now to do that so what's changed in this build well first they fixed the uh, show hidden icons fly out um, actually on my machines I didn't have that bug but I know a lot of people did so that's there now that that still works but with that there is a removal of a feature so they've put the other system tray icons um, oh it's called taskbar corner overflow it's back to how it, it was in the previous build and uh, the, the new way that they introduced in 22581 has gone now actually I captured a screenshot of it and of course the machine rebooted and lost it so I can't show you what it was like before but anyway that's been put back so they said that was because of feedback um, and this is the case with these beta builds and dev builds you, you may not get uh, you know, those features get shown off in here that are no longer that get taken out as well as has been introduced uh, like the taskbar collapse taskbar for tablets which was taken away in the last build uh, as well uh, you may notice as well that um, there's no watermark on here the last build didn't have watermark either so that's a sign that we're getting closer this is not the final build but we're we're getting close, closer. Another thing with this as well, if you do a clean install with this build and you um, sign in with, if, if you're Windows 11 Pro and you, you have to sign in with a Microsoft account and internet connectivity when you set it up for personal use. If you choose work or school, you're okay, but for personal use you do. Right, so what other features have changed? Well, they've fixed uh, some issues with Explore EXE that would um, degrade over time so um, you know, you're using Explorer and it will take up more and more RAM um, and they fixed that uh, and I thought I'd show you that this is the file it's, uh, the uh, task manager uh, updated in the previous build with the sort of the theme colors now so um, they've done quite a lot of work on task manager over the last few builds and you can see this all together now here um, it's got that Windows 11 style uh, UI on there um, yeah, Windows Explorer is working fine on there. Uh, they fixed some input issues with Japanese uh, inputs. Um, they fixed some issues with widgets crashing, and they've uh, fixed some uh, issues with quick setting crashing as well. They've fixed an issue where three finger gestures are on the minimizing applications, so that's where you can go with three fingers. I'm doing that with my. Uh, Using the touchscreen on this Surface laptop, uh, that would that would cause animations to crash, and uh, they've also fixed some uh, blue screens as well and some taskbar issues. So there's not a huge amount of changes with this build, to be honest. It, you can tell they're getting this ready to to release. Um, there's a couple of known issues, only two actually. Uh, live captions, uh, certain apps in full screen prevent live captions from being visible. So if you've got a video player and certain apps pushing near the top of the screen and closed before live captions is run will relaunch with the behind the live captions you're going to use all uh, space to, to switch the input focus but that it's it actually there's not a huge amount of uh, known issues with that which is quite a good sign because once you get to release they need to get rid of all these known issues i don't think we're that far away now so again if you're on beta or dev just think about which rings you want to be on it's really easy, easy to change at the moment but going forward you won't be able to do that so think about that now thanks for watching this video i've got more uh, videos on windows 11 and other things on our youtube channel like and subscribe if you do uh, thanks for watching